Oh, this is it. To see your home defile. You tried to take everything from us. Oh, snap. Yet here we stand. Oh, damn. Buffering. <laughs> <laughs> it's buffering for you. <laughs> you will have no victory. Ooh. Huh. See the minions. Ooh. Oh, wow. So quiet for me. We got a cape. The ocelot will hunt no you. No way. Across oceans. No way. Across the underworld. Whoa! Is that a big ass Whoa. dodge attack I just saw? Yeah. But oh my God! Look oh at that my armor. God! Is he invisible? What the heck? Oh, you're way behind, but I mean... Oh, you uh, hear is your own scream. Oh, the whistle. Oh, snap. The obsidian, which is a really fun thing to work with. Um, you'll see that there's variety in it, too. Like, it's not just... Um, nice. Turquoise bead that you the feathers, ooh, they got the physics. Wow. There's depth yeah. in the blues, depth in the Very golds. Cool. The woods, man, more look at that skull one, dude. Because Holy crap, the nature over there in the southern Americas oh, wow. is more reddish compared to here, which are more on oh, the grayish looking. brownish tints. And the feathers, which we wow. really, I'm really excited. Wow. Oh. dude, these <laughs> last that. ones, and wow, and that's what I'm saying. These are looking uh, good. Oh my gosh, we've also got uh, that Holy last crap. one. Crap. Oh, wait, no, that's not the last coming one. out. No, they just well, keep so going. Got, uh, they just keep coming, dude. <laughs> you know, we gotta, let's gotta get, get started. Oh, man. It's gonna be exciting. Oh, oh, let's first go. of all, uh, we kind of have an infinite chain, but it's a little bit different this time, right? Uh, because normally when we have like something like Shaolin, you can do like you know like light to heavy, light to heavy. Whoa, what the heck? Yeah. But that's kind of cool. Yeah. But then we went. Voice hmm, how do we take this a step further, hmm. right? And so what we came up with is every single uh, option that you typically have. So light, heavy, zone, and bash work everywhere. So I can do light, but I can do light into a bash. I can do mm -hmm. light into heavy into a zone into a bash into all. Oh of my things. god! Whoa. So the rules for chaining for this hero is. Look at the effects when he's moving like that. Holy crap! It's the same type of action twice like in a row. So you can do light, light, heavy, heavy, bash, bash. Good stance. Uh, like zone. Yeah. You can do into a finisher. That's where you stop. The finishers. I don't know what I just witnessed stronger. though. They have like better stuff, so that's kind of interesting. Um, and you can alternate them constantly. And each kind of each option that you have has different options. Uh, like they have different properties and where we can go. So it's kind of like pushing some of the stuff we have a little bit more to the extreme mm. and going into that, right? And so what's also interesting is that uh, we really built this hero to be every single light attack is using the spear and every single heavy attack uses the club. Mm, nice. zone, uh, sometimes it uses the club, sometimes like, you see the finisher uses both at the same time. It's kind of cool. So I know this like, like, like this caused mm -hmm. not problems, but it's challenging for animation, right? That really have that's different because it's the first time we have a hero that has two yeah, really I don't really animation. distinct weapons. Yeah. Yeah. With like the club, we went more for the heaviness feeling, the body weight feeling, that yeah. power. And then if we talk about the chain, we went and took advantage of that inertia that the character was having, that momentum he was having, and we made a decision like, are we making him a spin or not? So, man, yeah. like, like that, like, like you're showing it right mm. now. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes you're spinning, sometimes you're not. It's like yes. So make sure that normally it feels good with there, the right? club, it's when we spin because we, we have a lot of strength, a lot of energy mm. going on, and then then with the with the spears, just we we go for the range. All right. Yeah. Yeah. One of the big big challenges I find we had for uh, for the openers and, and finishers was to everything chain together. So we had to really make sure that every blend was like perfect for that. And during the recovery, like he gets again into balance. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Oop, really, uh, really cool uh, stuff. Someone last get extra. <laughs> All right. So let's keep going a little bit into the the hero's uh, like basic kit, right? So uh, like I was saying, every single light, like the usual lights for 500 ms, like we normally have, chain lights are all. 400 ms. Uh, they tag people when you dodge after you do a heavy or a bash or whatever. So 
Again, a lot of pressure there. Uh, light finishers are 400 as well. So if I go light into light, that's 400. I don't think anybody can react to these things. Like, uh, we've done some tests with some I cannot. pro players. <laughs> yeah, <you> can. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. We can, um, for sure. <laughs> heavies, the chain, so the chain heavies uh, are 700 MS, uh, really, really fast, and with really quick chain link timings, again, to keep up the pressure. Uh, heavy finishers are unblockable in every single stance. Big swings there. Uh, hmm. I really like put a lot of like effort into like the camera angles and the yeah, that's I, that's they are my favorite attacks. Yeah. It's yeah. one of my Initiative favorites as well. Yeah, they look really really cool, right? Made it so it was very very heavy on all yeah. fronts. Yeah, they really they do Dang. feel heavy, even though they're quick. You do yeah. feel that a lot of the heaviness. Well, so it's really really good. And then we have zone attacks, which uh, are always armored. The new the opener one like it gains armor a little bit later. Uh, but when you go into chains, you get armor at first frame. They're a bit slower, but the idea there is like you're in a group fight, whatever. You typically want to use your zone. It's like a Yorn exactly. zone. Uh, so making them armor makes you harder to peel. That goes well. Heavy f the zone finishers as well. Like they switch sides too, so you're not super predictable. Uh, again, you for me, use your armor to trade against dodge attacks yeah. and things. So that's great. Yeah. And then we have bashes, right? So uh, we also have an we have an opener bash, so from front dodge into bash, going into this. Nice. Um, mm, one of the things damage. that we'll see as we go towards this is that every single bash this hero has deals direct damage. Okay. Never has confirmed damage afterwards, although getting a 400 MS light afterwards is almost guaranteed. <laughs> you know, there's still ways to get out of it. Yeah. Um, so the neutral bash, pretty simple, 500 MS bash off a of front dodge, uh, so that works quite well. And we have the chain version that I'm going to go into here, which is slower, uh, deals the right damage, but is faintable, right? Mm, We've been doing of course a lot it's faintable. Uh, <laughs> of course it is. Especially on this hero, it's super mm. scary. We've had some players that uh, tested it out a little bit with us, and they're like, yeah, this is really, really good. <laughs> well, but, and last but not least, we have the bash finisher, which is fire oh. quite a bit of damage. Hmm? You have to make a read because you cannot dodge after this if, my, if I throw a light. So it's a lot again, like a lot of that pressure and that that build up there into yeah. going to what am I going to do? What's my opponent going to do? What what is the ocelot going to do against me? Mm -hmm. And it's super scary. And with those bashes too, like we have like really unique animations here. Like everything's yeah. super different. I can go into this one. The animations are big pummel strike. Mm -hmm. the finisher has. I don't see anything reused. So That's pretty what cool. Kind of, what kind of you guys cool. these type of things? Oh, well, at first all the uh, all the bashes were pummel strikes. I believe the the um, the. Opener was the uh, the the right side, and then the, for the ch in chain we had the um, the the pummel strike from the spear. At a certain point, we're like, these are all pummel strikes. So uh, JC had the great idea of making the <laughs> the scissor move, which I found really great. Uh, and it's, it's a really vicious move. You kind of feel like uh, Daniel is the rage of the character attack? through that move. Fantastic. Yeah. So it's a bash after a bash. So, uh, all right. So outside of this, we have dodge attacks. They're all on lights. Uh, they don't have massive trajectories. Again. Nice. Uh, we have to have like some sometimes some downsides to the hero, but also like it feels really natural to have quick dodge attacks with this front dodge light as well. There, there's a little jump here, in a bit of distance. That's pretty hmm. cool. Works quite well. Uh, but there's one more little thing I think that we haven't. Done, <laughs> oh yes, right. So that's very yes. true. That's quite different uh, with this hero. So one of the things that we really want to feel because we have all of this, right? We have the feet set that we're also yeah, talking yeah. after afterwards. But okay. one of the core aspects is the hunting, the stalking, right? Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. as we were developing the hero more and more and more, we're like, uh. oh, you know, we're kind of missing that aspect a little bit. So we ended up creating a new kind of stalker stance, prowl yes. stance. Uh -huh. uh, you what? access it by holding down on oh, the no. right stick, and you go into this, right? Uh. So when you are in this stance, oh, uh, there's God. a couple of no things. Guard. First what of all, you hell? can't block. Uh, so it's really not meant to be like something defensive, even though like it's not super visible. But when you go into it, you get the, the you, you do get a little bit of dodge range. Yeah, like with yeah. Nobushi, it's the same timing as Nobushi, so you can you can dodge attacks with it. Yeah. Uh, so it works quite well. And then the other thing that's interesting here is that you actually walk faster when you are in this stance than when you're not. So an example, if I'm strafing okay. to the right here, ah. you see the, the speed I'm going at. But when I'm in that that that, that prowl stance, ah, I'm going faster okay. front, faster mm -hmm. back, faster everything. Uh, so the idea here is that we really want people to be able to use this stance to kind of like be, you know, uh, there's a group fight happening. Uh, I'm hunting my prey. What am I going to do? And you get there. So when you are in this stance, uh, you have one single attack that you can perform. Oh, uh, with the head <laughs> oh that's great. So when you Holy it, crap. You oh, forward, how much did that do? I can't see it. <laughs> and if uh, your attack connects, right, you can do something really far. You get into a bit of a pin. The, uh, the club gets embedded in the 24? opponent. Slice it off. 
So really, really good. This acts as a heavy, so you can do your heavy chains afterwards. Uh, it's a heavy, it's a heavy opener, like you know what we have as a heavy openers, and it's it's super effective. Uh, it's not the best tool in one v one. I can warn people right away. Yeah. It's not <laughs> meant to be used as a one v one tool, but it's excellent uh, at peeling, uh, right? So if you're in, if you're peel. again far, ah. you, can find, peel. you might be off screen. People don't really see too much. You get into it, and then you see an opening. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Okay. Yeah. So Thanks. Okay, you number one. Club. Damn. So good. Ah, oh, nice. I like Off. it. Pretty brutal, you know. Okay. Cool. I like it. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, respawn. Okay, so let's do this again. We're gonna go through all four of them. So. <laughs> Just never stop <laughs> pressing buttons. That's, yeah. that's the goal. All right. Dang, I like that. this one. I love this Ooh. one. It's like so Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> right, so clearly, uh, right now Ooh. we're laughing, so we uh, That's show the stuff we don't show the blood, but uh, it's quite bloody. Oh, when you see it in game, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's quite too. bloody. So again, for the third one. Look at those camera nice. angles Bit faster and the disconnect right? of the controller, I heard. <laughs> and then finally, it just happens last every but time. Not least, you hear the voice lines talking, that's cool. Right. There we go. I that's remember like it was yesterday. Oh, I love that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Well, right on this. Screen, right? That's uh, my personal so favorite. That's what we did yeah. at MoCap, right? Nice. We had one guy like, you know, jump like that and fall into the spear and just. Yeah, yeah, yeah nothing to the spear. We just we lost the knack of that thing. It was really sad. Oh. I mean, you know. Was, <laughs> but we got the shot. Yeah, we, we got, got the shot. We got the shot. All right, okay. So, first feet are passive. It's got four feet. The last one is active. Four feet. Whoa, that's a lot of. Crazier one, right? So, uh, Jimmy, if you wouldn't mind killing me, please. By the way, Chad, if you're not sitting down, now's a good time. <laughs> Sit down if you're in a car. Uh, 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 if you can just find a seat. Yeah. Just, yeah. Whoa! Just what? Oh. What? Okay. Oh, no. uh, uh, I, I was know. buffering that entire time. Oh, I Whoa. Whoa. This is what the first feed does, right? So whenever That's you die, his first feed? you're not executed, uh, huh? you don't die from like traps or get ledge or whatever. What? You get back up in a street. What? You can run out what? Of go anywhere you want. What? Wherever you'd like, as long as you're not too close to enemies or no allies. No way. Or in ladders. <laughs> when does he come back? You can go up ladders. You Whenever he wants. Here, right? What can people see ladder, you though? That's you're also crap. Faster, yeah, can't respawn on ladders. No way, here. dude. Oh, yeah, oh, it looks good here. Respond. That's insane. Okay. Uh, back capping. <laughs> if no one can crazy, see, super, super that's a free back cap. Uh, really what the heck? That's uh, like uh, defeat one. Uh, revive animations. You can't see uh, him. <laughs> what? So, uh, Whoa. It's very ethereal. The actors are moving around. <laughs> oh, revived, he's marked but, too. This like a gameplay we had to cut. That's probably a second or something. Yeah. So right now. Jimmy's somewhere. I have no idea <laughs> where he is. He's where? somewhere. Oh, He's somewhere. I don't know where he is. Like, he I thought you could see an outline, but I guess they're really just gone. At, uh, uh, so the second feat is kind of like uh, Aztec Killer Deterrent, right? So <laughs> I, that's I like it. I like it. Like, I, like, it right? I think we should change the name. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what it does is when you actually kill an ocelot, uh, here. So you see on top of my head, I have uh, a little marker, and I also have a buff and a debuff. The buff is for the third feet, but the debuff is on me. So essentially, when you kill an ocelotl, you get revealed on the map, uh, and you get a defense debuff uh, for I think it's 15 seconds. Uh, so it, it's not really necessarily like a buff uh, for oh, opponent wow. that they're going to be able to see you, the one you killed specifically. Nice, nice. And so the next one, when I kill an when I kill any hero right here, I'm gonna you lock onto dead. people when you're dead, so though. Third feet activates. So can you so like lock on, is revive, and then you instantly enemy, jump at him? Execution, whatever, you gain a speed increase and an attack. I was listening to the feet so thing. So again, it's like speed really, really increase. strong. You get into a group fight, you so kill somebody. Feet. Jeez. It's easier to kill other people in that group fight. Nice. So again, with that life and death stuff, uh, you manage to kill your prey. You get pumped up. You go, yeah, all right, cool. I'm gonna be able to do more stuff, and you kill more. So that's yep. really, really good. Again, short cooldowns on those are passive. They pretty much trigger every single time you either die or you kill somebody. So that works really, really well. Nice. And then last but not least is Feet 4. So for Feet 4, uh, we tried to do something a little bit different here. Uh, Vanessa, when we started working on this hero, the legendary Vanessa, the legend. <laughs> the really, legend. really, really wanted to go, you know what? We have like this big spear. 
I want to throw it mm. and <laughs> bring people back to me, right? Sure, yeah. So what do we do here? Huh? We throw this beer. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, my oh, God, dude. Free card break? Oh. No way. What? what? Shinobi. Thank you. Dude, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> what happens? Let's do this. And then... Oops, there's a ledge. Oops. Oh, so close there, right? Uh, we missed it. Uh, trust me, it works. Uh, not every there single time. Okay. Hmm? So, Jormungandr. Uh, so, hmm? basically two chains for Jormungandr, but the oh, everything wow. centers around the fact that Yolden Farewell and Hammer Slam uh, are a little bit overtuned in yeah. them. Uh, next up, we have Scent. So, uh, we're hmm? aware, I'm just going to start, oh. that uh, there's nice. uh, oh, a nice. problem with uh, tracking on Centurion yep. when you do a light into a fully charged jab and then you can sometimes like double dodge it or like all sorts of stuff. Mm, the double and dodge. Oh. If the answer was as simple as when somebody on the team, including me, <laughs> clicking something and it worked, we would have done it. Unfortunately, it's a tricky proposition. Mm. The way the move is built is different from other chargeable bashes. Mm. And because of that, it's a lot trickier. We're going to require animation. They didn't change the a lot timing, of different things to really flesh it out properly. So, uh, so what? it's taking a bit more time. They didn't change the timing, though. Uh, no, they, so that's, that's what he's saying. No, they, I just want to make sure that it's not I, easy. I so they they haven't done that, that yet. They know aware, about it, though. Yeah. Yeah. Fix and then, it. Uh, last but not least, uh, Nusha. So uh, it's my it's my girl. Right, it's your girl, right? <laughs> I, I love her so much. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Nusha, we had uh, we're we're I'm gonna say uh, we're gonna nerf Caltrops. Right? Oh, no. <laughs> so um, for a long time, let's go. Uh, in terms of uh, balancing for the okay. patch notes, right? So as I said, no. it's not the biggest patch notes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. uh, and we're going to keep going and going. I think that's the majority for it. I think overall, though, the hero coming, pretty solid. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I like. Right? Yeah. I like. So, speaking cool. of testing grounds, right? so, good segment. Uh, I like right? it. Yeah. So we have. <laughs> our so you can now uh, tag multiple items hmm. when you are oh, on the screen and holy then crap. dismantle them. Oh, thank God! No, oh, my nice. gosh. Really nice. All that